Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's Mitzi. For those who are new here, welcome. And for anyone that is coming back to my channel, welcome back. Um, I am officially uh, 36 weeks pregnant, which means I have officially hit my nine month mark. Yes. So I'm so ready. I kind of just wanted to make this video about what's in my hospital bag. So I hope this helps any mommies to bees. Um, these are just things that that are I need little things that I'm going to be needing. I'm, I am overpacking a couple things. This is my second pregnancy, so I kind of already know what I need and what I don't need. So I hope you guys enjoy my video, and hopefully you guys you know find this video helpful. If you do, give me a thumbs up or um also go ahead and comment down below anything that you guys um think that i'm missing or that you know anything that you guys thought was helpful for your pregnancies if you guys have already um been pregnant before well let's go ahead and get this started all right so i am going to be bringing these um like high waisted um underwear you definitely do not want to have like a thong or anything like that because you do not want to put a tampon in. When I gave birth with Kailani, I had like just regular, just, just regular underwear, you know, that they were just kind of like the bikini lines. But because of my C-section, I did notice that it was kind of a little bit uncomfortable. Um, now this one, um, more than likely, you don't need to bring um this is just for me um i am act actually allergic to the the pads that they give you so after you give birth um you you obviously just tmi i know kind of gross but um you will bleed like crazy you are literally gushing out blood um so they give you like this huge pad like i wish i had one to show you guys um it's literally like super thick it's oh it's huge um so they give you that and then they give you like really like um like these underwears um and the underwears are amazing they're i love them they were so comfortable um but the pads i was actually really allergic to so i broke out in like hives and it was just all bad so i am going to be bringing um um pads i'm not allergic to always the brand so um i'm gonna be trying these um i got the biggest ones that i can find so hopefully that helps um like i said i know it's kind of gross but um i'm hoping that that kind of you know helps me out a little bit um because i can't use the hospital ones um because like i said i am allergic to them so that kind of you know that's a bummer um but yeah so hopefully that goes i also did see um that always has like their they look like underwear slash pads it's like almost like a giant diaper slash not so you know thick and ugly um i think they're called like always discreet i if i i'll look it up right now but um if that is wrong i will go ahead and put the right name right here <laughs> um but um yeah i believe they are called um always uh, discreet and I, I think i'm gonna go grab some of those um before you know i go i go in i'll probably grab them tomorrow morning yeah i don't like the the soft like toothbrushes so i'm just gonna bring my own toothbrush and my own toothpaste i will also be taking um pajamas just loose pajamas because trust me um the, the looser the better because um you don't want anything tight okay so one of the things that i am going to be bringing are slippers and of course <laughs> um slippers i really really recommend these um i personally don't like wearing socks um they do give you guys um the hospital gives you guys like um, hospital socks and they have the little grip things at the bottom so it makes it safe for you guys to walk around um, I'm having a c-section so this is my second c-section that I'm having um, so um, I'm not really sure how it works if you have a natural birth um, like a vaginal um, so I'm not sure how that goes but as far as c-sections you do have to start walking I think um, if I remember correctly within the first uh, 24 hours 
um that's one of the things that they make you do just walk a little bit and um so the slippers will be really really helpful um i am gonna be bringing um a lotion lotion because like i said they don't provide you with lotion at least i don't recall them um giving me lotion so um i definitely want to make sure i have that i am also bringing my own shampoo and conditioner like I said, they are going to be giving you your own. My, I have a lot of hair, and it's kind of long, as you can see. So that shampoo just wasn't for my hair. I made it very dry. It was just a hot, hot mess, and I definitely didn't want, um, I don't want to go through that again. I didn't feel clean the rest of the days that I was there. So that kind of bothered me. I am going to be bringing scrunchies. That's another thing, but just because, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted my hair up so then I will also be bringing um, a robe even though obviously the hospital um, provides you with you know the little gowns um, this would be kind of to go home in um, I don't like putting this when I'm in the hospital like walking around because it's just so much like I I really can't do anything once once I have the c-section so um, also deodorant this is a must. So one thing, if anyone already, you know, went through um, a pregnancy and noticed that your deodorant doesn't work, please comment down below because I feel like it's only me. Like when I had Kailani, I smelled so bad and my deodorant just wasn't working. So I'm hoping that this time around it will. Um, I am also going to be bringing a scrub um, because right after, like, once you can go ahead and rinse off, like, that's all you want to do. Also, another thing that I am going to be bringing is um, body wash. So this, once again, just need to feel clean. <laughs> um, I am missing a shirt from, from this bag. I need to put my shirt that I'm going to be going home in. Um, and let me see so i am going to be bringing this is a newborn i'm going to be bringing a newborn little outfit uh for milani and then this is a also a newborn so i'm not sure which one i'm going to be bringing her home in yet and then which ones i'm going to be putting her over there yeah these are all newborn and then this one is a zero to three months so this is a zero to three months um, pajama. Um, just in case if she's a little bit bigger, I don't know if she's gonna be newborn or if she is going to be a size zero to three. So um, we will check on that and then I will also be bringing this cute little outfit. This is also newborn. So lots of outfits for her. You definitely don't really need all of this, um, but I am just being extra to be honest. So, yeah, um, let's see. Oh, can't forget. So, I'm going to be bringing also like my face lotions, um, you know, like my oils. Uh, also, what I didn't bring with Kailani um, was one of these like pillows for breastfeeding. Um, so, I am going to be bringing one of these. I have heard that. They're really helpful with Kailani. I had a very, very, very difficult time um, breastfeeding. So um, I'm hoping that this helps me out and helps, you know, Milani latch on a little bit better. I don't know. I really, really want to breastfeed. And with Kailani, we couldn't. Like, I tried and I tried and it just wasn't working. So hopefully that, that helps you guys out a little bit. Um, I will be adding um, socks to this. And I will be bringing um, Milani a little blanket and a little swaddle blanket um, just so that when we get, get her in the car, you know, um, they provide you, like I said, the hospital provides you with blankets, um, a little like a little beanie. They provide you with um, pajamas. They, they provide you with so much for the baby. You really don't need anything. Um, they provide you with formula. They provide you um, uh, formula if you want to. Um, of course, they're gonna try to encourage you to breastfeed if possible. Um, they provide you with diapers, wipes, everything, everything. Like I said, this is just things that I 
am personally going to use um, because I have been through this and it's just a little bit, um, this is like, I feel like a little bit on the extra side. They do provide you with so, so much. At the hospital, you should be good if you don't have you know, if you have to go in for like an emergency or something like that, you know, the baby's coming, you can't grab your hospital bag. They really just, they'll provide you with mo mostly everything. So, um, you should be good. Hope you guys like my video. And yeah, next time I will see you guys. I will probably do, be doing my labor video. So, wish me luck. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, give, a, give this video a big thumbs up. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys, bye.